ship are looking for Jack, so I'm going to swim for it. Karina, stop that. No, 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 don't stop that. This has gone far enough. No, it has not. I saw her ankles. You'd have seen a lot more if you kept your cake holes shut. I play a guy called Henry. He's a soldier in the Royal Navy. He is basically a studier of the myths and the supernatural, mainly because he knows that his father is bound to the Dutchman. He's on the quest for a certain treasure that will unlock and break that curse. He's coming for you, Jack. It was kind of familiar, you know, being at home, shooting from on the Gold Coast, and um, working with Jeffrey Rush again, and uh, some makeup artists and some crew. Yeah, it was great. In my eyes, to see Javier, Jeffrey, and, and Johnny, their commitment to their characters is, well, yeah, I really I took from that and learned from that. I once knew a Spaniard named something in Spanish. One day I walked out of my trailer, it was opposite Jeffrey Rush's, and his trailer door swings open. There's Jeffrey Rush in a full female period costume in a dress. I quickly learned that he likes to get into the female energy of his character, and so that was very interesting. If you were stranded at sea, what would be three things that you either would want or could take with you? I would want a salt water purifier, a guitar, and a bag of almonds. Maybe that would save my life, maybe not. <laughs> How do you want audiences to feel watching Pirates? I just want them to be entertained. It's a, it's a huge movie, it's really fun to watch. It's kind of how I felt when I first watched them when I was a kid, and so I hope people feel the same things. Some rapid fire questions. Action or comedy? Comedy. Sailor or pirate? Sailor. Jack Sparrow or Captain Salazar? Captain Salazar. Sea or land? Sea. Popcorn or chocolate? Popcorn. Can you give us your best pirates impression? Arr, <laughs> that's it.